Okay, so welcome to this session on CSS grouping selector. Okay, so if you see the documentation at W3 schools, uh, you'll see um, in this editor here, we have the H1, H2, and then P tag having the same styling property that's align, center, and then the color red. Okay, so um, it will be better we use few lines of code and then just to achieve more okay so better to use few lines of um, of code to achieve more because it doesn't look right or like okay to have um, the same um like code being repeated okay so it kind of redundancy so to avoid that uh, let's try it here um just going to clear my ids class here okay so the changes I'm going to do is um, just going to affect the H2, H1, and then the P tag. So in my main.css, let me clear this out. And then I'm going to type H1, and then uh, in the curly braces, I'm going to give it the um, color property of, uh, let's say, red or green or any value. And then semicolon, okay. So let me add comma, and then I'll put the H2 tag comma and then the p tag okay so that's a paragraph tag okay so i'm going to give it a font style that's italic to colon and then i'll type italic so font style colon italic okay italic okay. then i'll end it with a semicolon okay and then I'll do that for the red too. I can also mouse over and then, then change the color values here. So this only works in VS Code. I don't know for other um, editors, but let's see what happens here. You can see now they have the green properties for the H1, H2, and then the P tag, but we missed something. Okay, so I'm going to have to clear this particular text. Okay, or I'll give it an H3 tag. Okay, so I'm going to clear part of it and then I would give it an h3 tag so h3 tag copy it cut it and then uh, paste it in the middle so in between the opening and then the closing tag for h3 i'll go to the main and then i'll add the h3 okay selector comma and then when i go back to the browser and then i refresh the page i should have it um, affected on our h3 tag so you can see what we have here so thank you and then see you in the next lesson thank you